It used to be very, very painful. Bob is one of millions of Americans living with painful leg cramps and neuropathy due to a debilitating disease known as peripheral artery disease, or PAD, which causes blocked arteries in the legs that often lead to one devastating outcome, amputation. This disease process is in a conservatively estimated 20 million Americans. I mean, and we're underdiagnosing, so God knows how high no that number might really be. But the importance is, uh, you know, you lose your leg, you lose your toes, you lose your foot. It's not very long afterwards that you lose your life. The most at-risk patients are diabetics like Bob, who have blockages in the arteries below the knee, an area most doctors say they will not treat because the vessels are quick to close. It would be the third time I've had it done, both legs, I had one, one leg and then this will be the second one on the other leg. Um, I have a problem with um, diabetes clogging things up more, more than normal. It seems. You've been using balloon angioplasty and dilating these vessels for many, many years. Uh, we've borrowed coronary stents that have a medication on them and, and implanted those down below the knee. You know, we've tried a whole bunch of different things, but keeping these vessels open and keeping them open long enough for somebody to heal has, has been a challenge. So. But a new FDA-cleared device, Reflow Medical's Spur Retractable Stent System, is offering hope. As Reflow Medical's Courtney Hannock demonstrates, unlike traditional stents, the spur can be removed. Dr. James Joy is the first vascular specialist in the San Francisco Bay Area to try this new technology. He explains why it could be a game changer for patients like Bob. The nice thing about the device we use today is you know, we're able to get a result that, that looks like a brand new vessel, but we're not leaving any, anything behind. So there's no implant mm -hmm. for the body to react to. And anywhere in the body that we put a stent, the smaller the vessel, the more reactive it is and the more likely it is to re-narrow. So this is a definite step forward to be able to dilate these vessels, get a stent-like result, meaning a, a really good channel for blood supply, but then be able to remove the hardware at the end of the procedure and, and just leave them with normal blood flow and normal tissue. Preliminary results from the Deeper Reveal trials show promising outcomes. We think it's a significant advance something that might help you. Sounds, sounds good. For Bob and others with PAD who are fighting for their legs and their lives each and every day, this breakthrough means more than just avoiding amputation. It's almost miraculous. I know it's not miraculous, but it uh, for me it is. I'm going to go see my grandkids' games, and uh, part of my life that I was not, was not able to do, I'm, I'm getting it back, and it, um, it's perfect. A medical advancement that's giving patients like Bob the ability to walk to live another day and live to walk another day, one step at a time. All the guy wants to do is spend time with his grandkids and watch him play sports, and his inability to do that has really been depressing. So you know, now you know, he's gonna recover from what we did today, and I've got full confidence that he's gonna be back out there chasing him around. In Burlingame, California, I'm Tim McNicholas. If you want more information about PAD or this new retractable stent system, go to padhelp.org or call the Global PAD Association's Leg Saver Hotline at 1-833-PAD-LEGS.